<laughs> we'll have 12, but it's the wrong order. <laughs> Guys, this is guaranteed lethal, but, but what fun would that be? You know what? <laughs> Here we go. Mechasaur. Oh no, Mechasaur just dies. Uh, never mind. Yeah, we clutch it. I don't care. That's right, Bad Moon Rising Raw Zombie. Well, what's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're trying to do an actually good Bad Moon Rising deck. The idea is to play patiently and control your opponent while you're drawing cards and set up a good, reliable Bad Moon Rising. The way we're going to do that is by playing a Nebula. You can play this on turn four or five. Uh, or even six to make it more reliable to be able to play lots of minions in one turn and a bad moon rising for example if you play your nebula on turn five so the next turn is going to be turn six you can play buried treasure into it and you have seven brains then you can play anything on top of that um including the imposter it'll give you eight brains then if you have another imposter a card that was conjured from imposter a small card that was conjured from your space time uh, a superpower that conjures you know one or two minions you have summoning backup dancers infinity clones neptune super and morticia super a lot of things to get from thinking cap you also have the iron border as a one cost card you also have terraformer which makes everything in your uh hand cost less so that is a way of making any of these two cost cards uh, cost one or your one cost cards cost zero uh so we're going to be controlling the early game with what i think is probably the best way of stalling for a time with few giganticus with teleporting in imps uh so we have two teleports three teleportation zombies and you have very good ways of controlling opponents from imp throwing imp you're able to teleport in the toxic waste imp in front of something or in the water lane to make all of your imps deadly uh you're also going to be drawing a lot of cards with your imp commander so that should uh keep the imps refreshing in your hand it also ensures that you're going to be able to have your bad moon rising by the time you need that really just trying to make a slow methodical deck that actually uses bad moon rising reliably as a win condition uh the space time again will be used both in the early game to conjure things uh it'll make your imposters cost less you can play this deck just by uh using your space time and your buried treasures this will make a legendary cost two less if it's covered by a space time since space time will reduce the cost by one additionally and use your thinking caps as a finisher but mostly it's going to be bad moon rising i'm going to keep an eye on if the nebulas are good enough if we have enough one drops there's a card interdimensional zombie that would be nice to fit into this deck but uh we'll definitely keep an eye on that just trying to make a reliably winning bad moon rising deck let's get right into the game to we go if you enjoy I have done like Tell Imps Bad Moon Rising, but it was mostly the win condition was still Cowboy and Blob like in a regular Tell Imps deck. This one I'm really making it. We're playing slow, we're playing smart, and Bad Moon Rising as an actual finisher. This should be a very fun deck and hopefully it'll be effective too. Uh, these games are going to be pretty slow, so we are going to do 8 games today. If you think we are going to win 6 out of 8 with this deck, but yes, 5 out of 8 is going to be a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry I'm up. Gonna get rid of Bad Moon Rising since we do have a lot of card draw. Um, this is a pretty good starting hand. One of these toxics will get Berry Blast so we can teleport the other one in. 2 4 that draws cards is very good against Captain Combustible. We're not, we're gonna try to not be too proactive here. Maybe I'll set up a Toxic Waste in just so the, the this deadly 2 4 can kill something next turn. It also will represent card draw. This might get very blasted. It's okay if it does. That's awesome. I think I'm going to play Dry Imp Commander, though, because it's impossible for him to make a good trade with it now that it's deadly. That goes in lane four. Wow. Uh, so, so far, Captain Combustible has done nothing. We're drawing two cards. Insane. Okay, now we're definitely gonna slow it down. I'll play Thinking Cat. I could just teleport in it. It's just teleport in Commander, bro. No matter what, it draws so many cards. Kills that. Teleport. In Commander. Another one. What I wanna see. There's nothing he can do to prevent us from drawing two more cards. We'll be up to ten cards now, which in an imp deadly imp deck when you have ten it cards, man. The sound deck, but might it's as well really, really hard for him. We're at twenty health now. I don't know what he's going for. He must be just going for repeat moss. 
probably. <laughs> Onion rings. That's okay. Uh, space time is probably correct. This will draw too much. Actually, we're gonna be milled here. This will be used as an important stall card later, so... We're completely milled. The space time card actually is, like, discounted, so that's cool. It's a <laughs> quasar. One coster. We'll draw one card now. I don't actually have a teleport here. I'm gonna spam a toxic waste him. Just so we're able to thinking cap and get two cards from it. If he kills the teleportation zombie, that'll be pretty important. Here's repeat moss. Does he start shooting superpowers already? Looks like he is. I can just teleport in a toxic waste imp here though. Bruh. I don't think that's right. He's pulling the he's pulling the trigger on this way too quickly. Um, toxic Waste Imp. Should I be do the very treasure here? Why not? Let's get a legendary. There's a zero cost barrel. Oh, uh, is keeping Toxic Waste Imp a good idea? I think it is. We're probably gonna just ban Moon Rising this next turn. He can't block or anything, so the 6-6 six, six just dies for free. It's really nice that he used his extra superpowers just now. It's just gonna be hard if he has another repeat moss for him to win. That's all. We're so milled. I think we just go for Bad Moon Rising here. Worst case scenario, we'll, we'll think and gap and use the two superpowers. It's a pretty strong play. The bets is the predict button. It'll be on the top or bottom of your chat for another few seconds here. That's of course if you're watching here on Twitch. Yeah, way really premature repeat moss. He's going for it again. But we're just gonna beat him here. Usually. Draws a card. Whoa, bruh. He's rolling really low as well. We usually block. So it's gotta be Bad Moon Rising. This one day, he would, this will almost always do four damage unless we get something crazy. Plus, a frenzied minion in either of these lanes also wins. We can also put Teleportation Zombie in front of this so it doesn't kill us next turn. There's Mechasaur. Yeah, it's guaranteed lethal. We got Bullseye. <laughs> GG! I guess him blocking and getting his ultimate, yeah, basically would have killed us. And then we need the guy. So that's game. All right, one game, one win with Bad Moon Rising. That's actually exactly how we wanted this to go. It was interesting playing against a Captain Combustible mid-deck. We weren't really able to control him. We just were able to draw into all the answers we needed later. I, I feel like the one thing this deck is missing is more teleports. I almost would want to... I feel like this is an eight teleport deck. I don't know what I would take out. I can't take out any of the one drops. Maybe just instead of the nebulas, just run the tele more teleports? I feel like the nebulas are so important, though. We do have a lot of card draw, which draws into teleports. Maybe have, like, one more teleport. I don't know, man. What would this be instead of? Everything in this deck is so important. Do we need that many thinking caps? They kind of brick. Alright, we'll do instead of one thinking cap, I guess. Um... It's, <laughs> it's just a little bit of a difficult deck to build. Doing pretty well so far, so I can't complain. We have six teleports and a ton of card draw now. Hopefully that'll be enough. 
I don't know, man. I'd rather have too many teleports than too few, you know? Here's Nebula. Do I keep Bad Moon Rising? I think we actually look for more early game here. I think this keeping a teleport early is usually a good idea. Um, I'll play this on turn one since we can't really do anything. We can teleport this in on two to control whatever pumpkin we're already put. Uh, it's a good answer to Twin Sunflower as well. So Teleport Imposter looks really good here. Basically answers everything he plays. That's okay. Yeah, I'm content just passing here. Let's try not to be too proactive. I'm gonna... I, I might teleport space-time. I think I will, because the thinking cap becomes really good next turn. So let's do this. He could have some kind of like... I'll play it on Heights, just play it on Lawnmower, but... Why is my OBS glitching out? Feels like it's lagging a little bit with this head. Look at this now. This is actually going to be good for the Bad Moon Rising. In fact, it's probably just Teleportation Zombie now. I I, I could go for Thinking Cat, but honestly, Cheese Cutter spa Space Time is, is better. It really is. Look how good this is now. We're conjuring two cards that are giga cheap. This one is three less, so th this will just be like... <laughs> we got a one cost card anyway. But it's an egg, it's fine. Here's a two cost reduction. <laughs> We're getting all of the... Oh my gosh, look at the ramp. <laughs> look at the ramp. I should probably... Well, I'm definitely passing here, obviously. There's nothing to do. Um, I'll either go for Thinking Cap or I'll just set up Nebula if he actually destroys something. He might go after the teleportation. What do you even go after here, though, man? The weird news is I don't actually have a Bad Moon Rising yet, so maybe I'll do this and look for some card draw. See if we can set up a Bad Moon Rising for in two turns. That's kind of awesome. Uh, <laughs> we have all the pieces we need for an amazing Bad Moon Rising, we just don't have Bad Moon Rising. It's something I might have to start doing is hold Bad Moon Rising in starting hand if we actually have a couple, at least a couple of decent early game control options. But look at this stuff. How do we draw a card? I guess we burn teleports to draw cards, right? Yeah, I'm gonna... Probably set up Nebula here. I'm gonna burn one teleport. Do we burn another one? And... I think so. Uh, our card draw. Well, we're gaining a free teleport here. I think let's just kill. Let's just control him for now. So we can do it like this. This will be discounted down to zero. So this card actually increases in value this turn. And we'll set this up, why not? Just looking for Bad Moon Rising. That dies. It turns into a zero cost damp. That's okay. There's some card draw. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's a deck where we're just relying very heavily on Bad Moon Rising and not getting it. Oh, we found a flaw. We have so much card draw, too. I'll just spam an Imp Commander in Nebula this turn just to keep drawing here. He's setting up, like, the double Colonel Corn, which isn't actually going to even matter with all these teleports and cards that we have. Um, I'm gonna dump another Nebula just so we can keep drawing here. Is it worth putting it here? It's okay. He's gonna double Colonel Corn here. Uh, pretty certain. So we're gonna draw one, two, three. We're not gonna get the teleport, but it's okay. We have this one. He blocked. And he'll probably kill the 2-2. Two -two. No, he doesn't. He lets me draw the card. Fatal mistake. So if he doesn't remove teleportation zombie, we'll do some things with buried treasure. Otherwise, we're gonna teleport and just oh he gets stuck. Okay. That's okay though. Um I'm gonna go imp commander.
Imp Commander draws a card. We're just cycling. I think I'll commit this zero cost card here too, just to put... Since we're drawing, I probably should put the Pot of Gold in my deck sooner. It, we actually have a thin deck right now, so... Bonus attacks, no real way of utilizing Mime here. This is okay. We're just gonna draw three cards here. I, oh, I should have burned one more card there, right? Yeah, I guess so. Still no sign of Bear Moon Rising, though! <laughs> we're still at 20 health, we're just chilling, man. Uh, we actually burned a, a card draw here, which is sad. So! <laughs> I don't know! I guess this is okay. Maybe I'll burn the teleport again and see what happens. This game is going to be insane. I mean, he already has... He's already, you know, 40 health. He's probably going to have even more. He's trying to make me not draw. Very blasting, man. Uh, I'll burn teleport since we're getting another one. Can I have Bad Moon Rising at some point today, please? <laughs> nope. He said no. Um... So, we're always gonna Toxic Waste him. In the water. I, I could commit g g Mime. This is probably just better. This will automatically kill both of his... Of his dudes. And yeah, there is really no point. <laughs> Weeeee! More imps. And we'll draw an extra card again from the... From the toxic waste and pinning face if it hits face and we always get the teleport that's automatic so that's going to be an, another card yes there we are <laughs> it's time this man don't even know what about him he don't even know he don't even know uh so we we have one teleport Um, we have Infinity Clones. I'm just worried about him, like, field clearing us. Kind of worried. Alright, we'll play around Colonel Corn, why not? This is fine. He doesn't, he's not running Colonel Corn, he's just trolling. Oh, oh yeah, we have a Toxic Waste Em. So here's gonna be a really strong Bad Moon Rising. What should I commit here? I guess, like, which is the worst card? I guess it's this one, right? Here we go! Got 45 health! What do we get? We need, like, binary stars? No, not Muck! Not Muck! <laughs> here's a 621. We have a way of, of clearing his blocks next turn. Uh, one of these here. Where's the Viking? No, the Viking is the one that gets blocked. I think it's. I think it's uh, another second Bad Moon Rising. Maybe I should just keep the Bad Moon Rising though. I think I do. It's very. He's not gonna be able to do it out the sport. Let's cash in on this damage, and we'll have a whole another round of Bad Moon Rising coming up. Bruh. It's really sad. I wish the Viking was in one. This would have done so much more now. Oh well. Mm, there's nothing we can do here. There's no removal in this deck. Unless we like draw into Thinking Cat. Oh, this gets frozen though, so the Viking actually lives. Oh, that's cool. Alright, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy Moon Right. I want a whole second round of monsters, especially because this guy has 40 health. <laughs> this is okay, you don't have his superpowers to do anything. He used more spore already, so he's getting like his ultimate or weed whack or something. We'll get 10 more here. And again, if he clears this field, the moment he double Colonel Corns, we're still fine. <laughs> we're still, we have extra teleports. Oh, the extra teleports are clutch. Yep, here it comes. Um, so this is gonna... This is gonna die... Yeah, this is gonna die and make a minion here. By the way, the 617 is fine. They didn't do anything to that. This is totally okay. This is such a good match. Oh, it happens after? It happens after. Clutch instead. 
Clutch instead setting up the second Bad Moon Rising. Let's go. No, no. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's just, uh, it's just Great Zucchini doesn't do anything. La di da di da di da. Oh, you turn my guys into one ones. Oh no. Oh shucks. Oh shuckaroonies. Oh, I'll spam these. La 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 la. Oh look, more brains. Tell, teleport. Gotta get another minion in. I think I'll thinking cap like after this. La di da di da di da. Here we go. Come on, Zombot. Where? Are you? Oh, gadget scientist. Oh my gosh, it's the Wombo combo, guys. Look at this. Look at how many science cards we have. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, I got absorbed. Uh, now it's just thinking cap, and I think we're good to go. Thinking Cap should hopefully, well, maybe Thinking Cap will give us, like, will give us a, 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 a like, Frenzy superpower. That would be really good. Frenzy for this line. <laughs> We're also drawing from this King of the Grill, which is cool. Oh, look at this! Look what I found! <laughs> um, yeah, I think face damage is the priority here. So I'm gonna buff this. I'm gonna hit this one. I, I, don't, I think not. We don't need to kill the 7 2. It's not gonna really matter. Like this being down to a little bit more health really doesn't matter here. We just need as much face damage as possible. We're also drawing two cards here. So we're doing 14 out of 17. It'll be down to 3 health. Oh, it's they're not killing minions. Oh, they're not killing. Sorry, I thought it was when they hit face. I don't know why. I'm stupid. Uh, so we'll do teleportation zombie to play around more field clear. Um, I mean, killing this lane is not really the prerogative. Maybe I'll burn a teleport, look for another thinking cap, I don't know. <laughs> He's healing. Okay, well, it's back up to 23 now. Okay, now the King of the Grill does draw, which is awesome. This will also draw if he fronts it. I'll probably wait until these lanes, well, are actually active. I guess this one's sort of active. If he plays like a, Dude, would I burn a teleport here? I don't think so. We gotta keep playing patient. We're gonna, we're not running out of cards anytime soon, because we draw here, which is awesome. Yummy. That's another environment. Doesn't really help. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game is so much fun. So we can teleport in this mime to draw an extra card here. So that's awesome. Uh, we want to sort of spam something here. I'll just spam this one, I guess. We'll usually just cover his environment. He might be running four in this deck. We'll see. His kernel coin. That's okay. Look at the sticky imp. Keeping something around. We're still at 20 health. He's at 8. He kills that, unfortunately. Very blessed. Um, so we got two teleports, so this is why we held on to them. Case of emergency. Uh, probably five damage to face is really good. It'd be really cool to get a thinking cap or a bad moon rising from this teleport here. Very treasure. We'll do that next turn. So for now we'll just do this and this. So we're getting five damage in. Yay. Someone in the chat just asked, why don't you play plant decks? You haven't been around the channel very very long. You're just coming to one stream. I play plant decks all the time. Bruh. This guy only has two cards, too. Love to see this. Is there a reason to do it here? I'm just trying to calculate our brains. I mean, we're getting two legendaries here. So let's see what we get. Oh, Plank Walker. That's awesome. I should cash in on this. There's no point of it being space time there, right? <laughs> I 
We got two very, you know, big legendaries, which is really nice. We're just really hoping he doesn't have a molecule here. But we'll commit the, the flank walker, just because he's down to two cards. Him having answers right now is just increasingly less likely. We do have to grab this before the time expires. Please, please, no. I really wanted that legendary. Too bad. It just gives us a whole bigger card. That's so annoying. I probably should have went faster there. That's the end of his deck, though. So that's that's really good. Uh, he's healing a little bit. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna be healing more. Top deck scenario. We killed the. Ooh, we didn't quite kill this. Wait, we just have to dodge Molecule. If he top decks Molecule here and clears our board, it's gonna be very sad. Uh, so it's gonna be. Ooh. This looks great. I think I'll just commit this now. Uh, maybe this one should have gone face. They'll usually have a minion here anyway, though. No! He got exactly Molecule. Are you kidding me, man? So he gets two great zucchinis, and that's gonna determine the whole game. On a top deck. Are you kidding me? We had that guy! Now we're gonna lose. Now we for sure lose. Come on, man. I mean, now we're gonna have to get a thinking cap or a bad moon. We need a bad moon rising to clutch this now. Ridiculous. Oh, we could stall still. I'll, I'll try, like, drawing an extra card and doing this, maybe? Just to stall for time. I hope he just has something useless. Uh, going lane 3 with the second imp would give us a little bit more time to work here. Yes. That's cr- that's the only card that saved He's not running it. He could get a Colonel Corner, it wouldn't even matter. Because we'll still kill him. I mean, we need a Bad Moon Rising miracle right- oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! There's nothing better in this deck. We got one pot of gold from a from from a we got we got an, an imp throwing him through a world an imposter conjured up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? From a one leprechaun, one leprechaun going all the way. What? What? Okay, these aren't actually very good superpowers here. Not really that good at all. We can get like a nebula would would, would be kind of clutch. Wait. No, oh, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Block. Guy is all. Well, no, we can get the guy here. The guy. Block guy. We'll actually say, did we get guy already? <laughs> you know, if we would have covered that very treasure, we could have actually had that one. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's just Falcop. That's just Falcop material. What in the world is that game? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> he rolled a one there at the end. I think I started that game off with Guy, but Free! Free's environment would have saved us, though. Free's environment would have clutched it, guys. Would that be a highlight match? It probably should be, right?
add leprechaun to the stick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I need a minute to recover from that one. Let me write down this highlight. Come on. We need a leap! We need a leap! <laughs> I just need to scroll through the game to make notes real quick. Guys, most of the games are not going to go that long. That's only all these things of adding, you know, pot of gold and Mechasaur. It's only relevant when, when I mean, we could add Mechasaur, you're right. Mechasaur would be a second win condition. Interesting. With the buried treasure, it would actually be pretty damn good. Because you can go turn 5 Nebula, turn 6 Buried Mechasaur. I really could add Mechasaur to this deck. I don't know what I would take out, though. All right, keep it going. Yeah, stream set an hour already. <laughs> oh my god. It took a while to set up this deck. We're an hour into the stream, I was just trying to fix the... I don't know, the donations and stuff are not ringing. They're not making a noise. So it's the whole thing. I'm trying to fix it. Do we keep Bad Moon Rising? Have we learned our lesson? I think if we have two early game cards, we'll just keep it. Did I spam this? Take out Imp Commander, man. That's like our main source of card draw. I'd have to remove, like, space time. I don't know. I'd have to remove thinking. I don't know. Doesn't really make sense. I think I'll just play this on ground. It doesn't really get affected by Spike Weed or Rumble. Welcome to tell new folks. If he grows this by two with exactly like Hole of Flora, it'd be nice to get the very treasure. I, I think this is still there. Hey, Fry, been a while. Guess I have to tell a joke Milk since it's been quite yeah, we'll a minute. Milva. A Holocaust survivor died Moo -moo, and went to Welcome. heaven. How you doing? Upon meeting God, he decided to tell a Holocaust joke. Then God said, "That's not funny." To which the Jew replied, uh, "He does have whole oh, for I guess you really had sad. So this guy's got answers. Oh, we don't really have any. Well, we have to toxic waste him. 
would be super clutch here. I don't know. Let's see where we go. Bruh! For no longer. We'll just freeze something here. Probably just this one, keep the commander alive and dry. And blot. I really didn't want to make this deck into a blob deck, you know? This, this is pretty good. Interesting how he didn't grab the imp commander. This would have been better. I guess he really wanted to go face. That makes make sense. We can't really play our thinking cap. We really need a toxic waste imp, but I feel like that's gonna be the match. We're drawing two cards here, which is good. Teleportation zombie does help too. Honestly, I think we're still just spamming. I'll do the teleportation zombie next turn. Warlord. Four poster. At least read the Holocaust joke on stream and I'll pass. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. If you saw it, you saw it. You guys can, can rewind the video and play it back. There's another card. Oh, now what? Uh, we just don't have a toxic waste him. That's honestly, it, I don't know. It wouldn't even help that much now. It's rough for the synthesizers. Just gone card. Plant food. That killed us, right? Yeah, we're there. GG. Well, if we roll double threes, that would be very clutch California roll. Double three and then get guy. Nope. All right. <laughs> It's just the matchup, we need a Toxic Waste him and then get it, man. So I, I can't really get rid of the card draw in this deck and start adding more wing. Like, a Mechasaur would have bricked this there. Most games you really need the strong... the strong early game. La 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 la. Next! It's the problem with holding Batman. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go back. We need we need as much early game as possible, right? This is okay. Do we keep Nebula? So much better. Do I HD on one? I think against pass I don't. We can probably do a lot better. I think it's teleportation zombie for now. Bogged? Who cares? I probably should have played it here to play around that. Well, drinking violet. Really. Support these in. Spore took us. If I play this, I can actually conjure a lot more this turn. I think I will. I can also cover this environment, which is awesome. This costs a lot. It's, it's minus three, and we're conjuring two more cards that are minus two. Kind of ridiculous. 
kind of ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope I can play this triple kill. We played around the real Shrinking Violet here, so... Well, more likely he's running it because of the bug. There's another way to answer this environment. Yeah! So... Let's see what happens here. It's triplication. If we pull this off, it's gonna be clutch. <laughs> Walnuts, okay? <laughs> I don't think he's gonna like this play. I don't think he's gonna like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so just for starters, <laughs> so we got this is our Garg, this is our Imp. A three cost Chopper Commando, so one cost. We didn't actually get the, the late game Garg, and then this is our zombie that costs two less. Um. I think we just play Imp during it, and call it a day. Should I cover this thing, the bog? Is there anything that likes to be in this graveyard? Maybe I should have let my teleportation zombie die. There's Toxic. Nice. Uh, this and thinking cap is okay. If you remove something, that's not teleportation zombie, I'll just play the imp. Pretty good. Ooh. Where's Batman Rising now? That's what we need. Here, it's extra damage. So good. So good! Block. Oh, I should have gotten the 6 damage Wrath to face. Oh, that would have been more epic. <laughs> I could have waited all hell out to that Wrath, man. 6 damage, pretty hefty. Okay, where's Baboon Rising, though? I mulliganed it out this game, okay? Here's the place. Now this man has place. Now he's doing something. Uh, I think my environment here. Is that lives? I'll any bolt later, there's no rush. This guy's like stalling for uh <laughs> for Love Go Coco. I don't know. Fireworks zombie! <laughs> I can't tell if that was good. I think it was. Pretty sure it was. Hey, hey, Mr. Fairly certain. Like this, I guess. Still kind of playing around Shrinking Violet. Sort of, maybe. Not really. Oh, there it is. Brah. What would I teleport in? If I were to teleport? I think I'd Lightning Bolt this, because it makes a 4 drop. Uh, there's, there's always thinking, Gab. I think I'll just do that Hello next again, Fry. Very good stream. Also, please this wish kind of my best friend trade. cause Let's a happy birthday. Thanks. Thank you, uncivilized citizen. What did he say? Please wish my best friend Kaz a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kaz. Thank you, Sadistic Salad, for resubscribing. Ten months. Oh, here we go. Ah, it's all awkward. <laughs> Here we go. Teleportation zone. Is that good? <laughs> I can't tell if it's good. Here, I'll play here. I still haven't played this three cost chopper commander. I probably should. Yeah, that that hurts. That definitely hurts. I don't really have any answer. Well, Toxic Wasted. 
the answer. Can I get one, please? It's Bad Moon Rising, but this dragon is kind of ruining my day. Dragon's kind of a bummer. There's Toxic Waste Imp. Should I try for this way first? So. They play this here. I'll do this. Oh look, mommy Zamba! That's good. Hey, we have a graveyard too, guys. Any graveyard Zombot's gonna clutch it. <laughs> Maybe I should have committed the chopper just to like. Yeah, he can chump block it too easily. Though. No, he protected it. Oh, it's actually better with the Zombot. He's not running any grave removal, so this is this is kind of automatic. <laughs> I'm so <that's> fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, duh. does this kill it? I think it. I think it kills it. It explodes, and then it makes the guy, and then the then the potato dies. Pretty sure that's how that works. Oh, and it kills that one too. Yeah, you're definitely dead. La di da di da di da. Oh man, this guy has a dragon on the field. He's got so much stuff going on. What am I gonna do here, guys? This is rough. Oh, I should have committed this too. Oh no, two dragons! I, I I most certainly can't do anything about two dragons. I mean, this is just game over, guys. I mean, well, it's protected too. It's like he's almost like invincible. <laughs> the best graveyard zombie of all time. We had some good ones, but that was disgusting! Oh, we don't win? Oh, looks like we're gonna have to Baboon Rising for the win. What a shame. A damn shame, if you ask me. Ah, it's beautiful! <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> Bye. Next. This stream's turning. I think the stream goes on YouTube even if we end up going two and si two and six today, guys. Pretty sure. Crazy. Uh, I don't know. Keeping Nebula again. I'm gonna actually keep Nebula. See if this works. Should I play this card? Yeah. Playing this in the environment means even if he chum blocks it, we still get zero cost teleporting. Pretty strong play. I might just play Nebula this next turn. We're taking some pretty hefty damage here. I don't really like it. Graveyard Zombot counters Dragon Fruit. That is correct. I got my wisdom teeth removed. Do you have any advice? Uh, take it easy. I'm supposed to get mine out too. I've just been procrastinating. I hate going to the dentist. I do need mine out though. Uh, so if we do this, so next turn we'll have... I can actually teleport in something here. So you pull up four, five, four, yeah, something like that. 
If he plays another guy like a split B, I'll just I'll just go after this. No, bro. It's probably prioritizing just to control now instead of Nebula. So I'm gonna teleport in Toxic Racing. Gonna say, ooh, is this better? We can probably get more value out of the Toxic Waste Inflator. Alright, this kind of controls. I'd like one more imp just to be able to not kill the Toxic Waste Imp here. I mean, we have these two. Three. Love one. I love two. I don't really need to trade toxic waste in with this. I guess I'll do it here. It has to be it now. Oh no, we can do the space time. Duh. Now what do we get? Supernova Gar. Three. Two left. I mean, playing Toxic here is probably just smart. Supernova Gar goes here next turn, though. Can I afford to take the damage? Supernova Gar will hit something else. You know what? Let's just play smart and actually use Toxic Waste Imp as a really cheap two cost removal guard, you know? I can get really greedy trying to get other imps. Well, I'm gonna make my. I only have one other imp right now. I'm conjuring another card. This is fine. We don't need that Toxic Waste necessarily. We're getting some hefty. hefty dudes. Got it right back. So let's play. Well, Thinking Cap is the play if he somehow removes us, right? Yeah. And best case scenario, we just do both of these. Ooh, should I go Thinking Cap? Supernova Guard. Supernova Guard doesn't really do anything. This doesn't explode. I'm probably just killing the... Eh, I'm gonna just slow play this. We'll take five damage here, but I think it's okay. We really want to play the Thinking Cap at some point, so probably removing this card is a good idea. We could have drawn an extra card with the Commander, but that's value. <laughs> That's deadly. If I play this one, I can play Thinking Game. Did I play this, is the question. No, because then the imp doesn't throw something. We can get a two health minion that survives here, theoretically. I uh, really want this minion to get two health. Oh my gosh. Two health is gonna clutch this match, otherwise we basically lose, because then it dies to the explosion. Good play by him. Two health, please? No! We just lose. We just lose. Dang. Alright, we're two and three. <laughs> That's rough, man. Yeah, thinking cap was not the there's a lot of lightning bolts we could have at least taken out. Maybe I should have thinking cap sooner either. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Why does no one use sneezing zombie? It doesn't really you know, imagine you play Sneezing Zombie, the other guy's like, okay, Banana Source Rex, just any good four cost play. It kind of loses turn four, it's the reason people don't play. <laughs> you don't want to lose turn four. It's not good. Honestly, with double space time and HG superpowers, let's just hold Bad Moon Rising, Thinking Cat. I'd love my ultimate on one. So it'll be a good good time for it. We go two, three, ridiculous. 
Yeah, I think the answer is no already, but I'm pretty sure the stream should go on YouTube. Uh, I haven't really been... I've been... This stream has been so highlight-filled that I haven't really been concentrating on how to make the deck actually more competitive. Uh, I'll have to, uh, you know, I'll probably just work on this offline and, and bring you guys in the more polished version. I'm sure no one would mind seeing this deck, like, five times in the next month. <laughs> it's so much fun. We're not winning fast enough. There's a lot of things. The fact that Baboon Rising's the only win condition, I think, is definitely one of the problems. We'll do this in Freeze Environment, I suppose. Hopefully I get some good conjures here. Yeah, we'll do the bets. The answer is no. 24% voted no. I wasn't super confident in this. I, I haven't... It's so funny, because sometimes, like, Bad Moon Rising decks just high roll and they get, like, you know, 10 to no, but... I think with some work... I've really been trying to make, like, more competitive few Giganticus decks. And I think with some work this has the potential. Which one of these should I do? Is there any... Uh, I guess this one, like, lives more. Oh, well, I know. I'm basically just gonna have Thinking Cap here. Clocks? Can I get good cards? Oh, that is... pretty damn good. I wonder if I'll go for the area now instead of the Thinking Cap. Teleport Space Time, uh... and... I'll see what he does, but teleport, space time, and then playing this in three is pretty damn good. It's so much conjuring. It'll be ca cards that cost three less. We'll kind of be good for the rest of the game. It's awkward. This one gets blocked, which is good. Bonus attacks out. I'm gonna do this anyway. There's Toxic Waste Imp, which is stronger than the space time here. I think we gotta do that, right? I mean, I could just play both of these next turn. Conjuring is pretty clutch here. He usually won't have an answer to this, right? This is the whole game right here. I'm gonna go with my gut. Which is conjure the cards this turn and kill this next turn. No room for that. Problem is, if he has plant food and we don't get a teleport. Here's a really cool cowboy. <laughs> Very cool indeed. So, just cowboy. Oh my gosh, look at the, look at the moth and stuff. Cowboy. Toxic. I wonder if just putting the imp here is, is good in case he like can kill the cowboy. Like he's not gonna be able to kill both. I don't really feel like putting it here. I think this is fine. It also becomes zero cost imp next turn. I know the cowboy can kill both, but this way the cowboy lives and it still is deadly. And again, I'm I'm really just playing around plant food. Now plant food the triceratops dies. If, either way, if he plays plant food now. That's annoying. Now plant food? We kill a check here. Uh, so he has a four. This is all he's gonna have on the board right now. We'll have way more cards than him. I mean, way more. And we'll also have like a 3-1 and a 2 And Toxic Waste, I'm still alive. 3-2. Nice. He gets cards. <laughs> Very decent. Just spam imps. They're all deadly. He already used his time to shine, so... We're pretty good here. 
This deck should be a good matchup for Huge like, for against Grass Knuckles because of the Toxic Waste Sim. It's just a matter of, you know, one game we really needed it and we didn't get it. This is definitely a deck I'm motivated to work on. Maybe I'll bring this back tomorrow, a, sec a second version of this. It might have Mechasaur in it. We have so many environments. <laughs> Too bad we can't use her. <laughs> Everything's deadly, so it's not like he's ever gonna make a good trade ever. I love how we're getting free teleports every turn too. Okay, so here's a cheap card. La la la. Good. You're dead. You're dead. He has no answer to toxic waste him. He you he had like a like a sweet potato or something, but he used it. So happy that happened. That's dead. He held that. Player on rumble, I suppose. Da -da 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 -da. We have teleport. I don't really know about the bad moon rising here. Um, maybe we'll play for teleport here. So I'll play like I'll play this here. And this here. We're playing around Rumble. And we'll teleport the other one. And maybe I should have I probably should have saved this environment for the second teleport, yeah. I should have put the imposter the the leprechaun in one so I can teleport and mop if need be. Mop controls him pretty well. He's playing for us not having a teleport, and it's not gonna work. Not at all. Easy. Uh, Toxic Waste seems better, right? Just in case he gets nailed to the first one, the second one will continue to ruin his life. Uh, this 4 damage goes face here. Let's see if we can roll 1. Clutched it? <laughs> so he'll have 1 health. His rebel doesn't do anything because of the M throwing it. We got this one, guys. We might even get a bad moon rising it. Uh, if we get a one cost card, I'll go okay. Oh, we have two teleports. Alright. We'll get the BM bad moon rising. Should I be playing around him playing like anything to six attack six attack for four cost? I don't think it's possible. Split P. Split, he could actually win with Split P, Vegetation Mutation, Plant Food would win in lane one. Oh well. <laughs> There's the rumble now. He should have rumbled first in case we get Mini Ninja. It's okay. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's Batman Rising time. It's BM time. Like, maybe if he plays something into Mop, I'll just Mop it. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, Toxic Waste seems really good against Grass Knuckles. Doesn't have Berry Blast, Banana Bomb. He just has, you know, Sweet Pea, you know, Sweet Potato, and I don't know, Hot Date. It's like he's gonna concede. He'll deny us the Bad Moon Rising BM. It's okay. This guy's done. Rain 3? I'll be happy 5 and 3 with this deck, by the way. I'll consider this to be competitively viable. Like, we, we beat a really hard deck there. That, that Grass Knuckles was no joke. He was running Triceratops and B-Rex and Photosynthesizer and Click B. I mean, he was running, like, Galactic Cactus, Plant Food. What do we see? We saw, uh... uh Vegetation mutant. I mean, he was running like a really solid grass knuckles deck, so this the stack works. <laughs> I know the scorecard doesn't look great today, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. I'm glad we're back to even at three and three at least. We've had some pretty solid wins. Uh, I think we've done better when we mulligan away the bad moon rising. And the Nebula. We'll save those for the finish. Something tells me the end version of this deck is not going to contain Nebula at all. 
That, that kind of ruins the whole point of having mechas there. We'll see. I don't think there's too many teleports that we can have. So we'll just keep every... Probably we need to have eight teleports in this deck, too. Anyway. Teleport also is a way to cycle a card. There, I acknowledge your comment, dude. Hope you're happy now. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, I think this is fine on the ground. It's face time we want to be on highest player on Scorch. The cards we'll develop early here, are, you know, without him playing anything, is like space time and very treasure and stuff. Uh, we'll hold the, obviously, the. Toxic waste him, especially because he has banana bombs now. Who's touching me? Yes. He could have berry blast. I'll just teleport in. Uh, maybe I'll teleport in uh, toxic waste him if he uses berry blast and stuff. Sorry, I missed it. What did he do? I missed the play. Uh, I think we'll spend one here. This will just really make our life painful. Did he use Berry Blast? In Banana Bomb? Banana Bomb. Banana Bomb. That's a threat. We can also, like, freeze this line. We're just slow playing it. There's the banana bomb. I'm confused. It looks like a very classic, like what we were. This is the first game we're really setting up. We were trying to do with the nebulas in this deck, you know. I don't see a very treasure yet, though. We need some more cards here. Really? We have two Batman Risings. I'm gonna do it. Oh, very blast super, okay. Still have the banana one. Oh, this is clutch. Wait, it's not. Do this now. Do this now. <laughs> There's people outside my window yelling, and it's really annoying. Nice. Come on, Trotonians. You just laugh too loud. Is the problem? What the hell? This is a re reincarnation. Maybe I just take the damage. You know what? I'm doing it like this, girl. I'd rather take the damage and keep keep the minions on the board. It's extra bad moon rising. Can we knock it here. <laughs> it's just bad moon rising. Man. See if he removes anything. A three-man Batman Rising is 
is totally okay. He <laughs> could get a berry blast though. Don't get berry blast. That's the one I'll hit. It's okay. As long as he doesn't remove anything else. We're good. That's totally fine. Why does he just waste it? Why not use it on this? This goes up to eight, bro. He really doesn't like the toxic waste of the teleportation zombie. Anyway. Uh, so with this, and we'll, we'll do a freeze environment if we need to here. Huh? Surprise! Uh, pretty sure we do the freeze. It's a lot of damage. Coming on in. It represents five this turn and usually five next turn. Uh, so we got a very low tier Batman Rising, but it's good enough here. I think Batman Rising as a finisher is not good if you're only hitting like a couple of minions. So if you're consistently hitting like three, I think it's good enough. Let's see if we get another one here. I'll probably just Batman Rising this again. Uh, bro. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can play the area in, in four. If he kills this imposter, I probably won't do it. I don't know. We still need 12 damage. Bruv. Okay, we're definitely not doing it. <laughs> Come on, man. Yay. Yeah, pasa. I don't think swabbies are good. It just makes Bad Moon Risings more powerful, but... I think having a one more win condition would be with a Decalini. Something cheap would be nice. Well, we can always just teleport that card in, right? Frenzy Striker. So, we'll ban and rising for BM, and for realsies, we'll play the 6 cost 6 12. <laughs> Don't get anything stupid, please. This wins! <laughs> it wins! Guys, uh, are we gonna. Do we win if we get a really bad Baboon Rising here? Wait, can we do both? Well, no, not really. <laughs> we'll have 12, but it's the wrong order. Guys, this is guaranteed lethal, but, but what fun would that be? You know what? Here we go! Mechasaur. Oh no, Mechasaur just dies. Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, we clutch it. I don't care. That's right, Bad Moon Rising Raw Zombie. That's right. Always BM. Always BM. Eight damage. Just what we need. Nine damage. Perfect. Good day. All right, four and three. <laughs> I don't care about winning. I don't care. Uh. <laughs> you got cubes pretty hard there. All right, last game, guys. I, I'm, I'll be super happy with the five and three. How do we? I don't. This deck definitely needs some work. I'm literally gonna be walking around Toronto with my phone, figuring this deck out the next few days. That is what I'm doing. I need an excuse to walk around more. Kinda cool. Awesome. Time for high roll garbage. Wait. How much high roll garbage can we do if we actually pull the pull the trigger on this one? I think a lot. I think I'm gonna commit the nebula too. We haven't answered the cycle caps though. We're gonna have some. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. It'll be turn three. We'll have four, five. So we can actually get, like... Well, it's not quite bad when rising. Four, five. Six. Should I slow play this even more? I think I'm gonna slow play this, like... Until we can actually get all these minions out with the Bad Moon Rising. This is probably Cycle Cap. Here we go. I have to start, like, committing some things here. Let's start, like, committing some of our trash. I have to figure out when I'm going to pull the trigger in this. So again, this was turn three, so we'll have four, five, six, seven, it's close. I think we wait one more turn. It's definitely cycle count. Yeah. One more turn. Which is turn five, it's basically when he wants to do his... Okay, now we're good. <laughs> now we're definitely good. <laughs> that just adds so much more value, so way more brains. There's nothing you can do to interrupt this. It'd be really cool if he just committed Planet of the Grapes right now. All right, here we go. He's going to do his Planet of the Grapes next turn anyway. And we'll re we'll just cover it immediately with this. Totally fine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for high roll garbage. If we get a small card, see again, we're going to have... I'm just trying to think, should I make an extra Bad Moon Rising or should I actually cover this? Because we'll have seven. Okay, this always happens. Like, if I play this now, we'll have eight. Which means I can't play both of these, right? Yeah. Maybe we'll get, like, a, sm uh, a small, cheap legendary. That would be nice. Can we get, like, an uh, interdimensional zombie or something? Alright, we'll have these as the backup plan, but... It's Bad Moon Rising for sure. There's Cycle Cap. Going for a bounce. Does he think this is gonna work? La di da di da di da 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 da. Oh, Mechasaur, nice! <laughs> I love Mechasaur. It's my favorite card. Go! All right, so he's down to four. <laughs> we still have 16 health, so even a, a full. Cycle cap with playing the grapes and anything. He's not gonna have enough sun, is the problem. He was trying to set it up. We had a second of arm and he completely lost track. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> what do we commit here? We go this plus this one, I think. Maxor makes another minion. Alright, good luck, bro. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of everything. He, if he survives this turn, man, props. That's all I gotta say. We need the six damage hitting and then either one, two, or three lanes to hit. This is how I really want the deck to play. So I might lean into the Nebula even further. Or I might ditch it completely and go like Mechasaur with this, the, the next version of this deck. There will be a more competitive version coming out. In a stream near you. Soon. Yeah, this guy just quit. He threw his phone out. Like, he ain't gonna play a card this turn. Come on, guy. Let's be real. No, he's Mega Man. He's going like, okay, well, I got second Planet of the Grapes, which he probably doesn't even have that, and then Astro Shroom, and then he has two Sun in which to, to just make a miracle happen. It's not gonna happen, bro. He would have to have four Puff Shrooms, and that. Uh, it's not happening. He quit. He's done. This was great. I I'm happy with five and three for this for this version of the deck, man. Clutched out, we pumped out like four games in a row there at the end. Yes. All right, guys. This is the slow, patient, good moon rising. This is good moon rising version one. There's more coming. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys on YouTube made it through the entire video. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to see me uh, do more versions of this deck. I think I'm going to regardless, so... Doesn't matter if you want to see it. I want to do it. I will see you guys in the next one. That was a great stream. 
highlight city pizza. Let's try. 